In 2008, the movie Wanted premiered and became famous for curving bullets. Angelina Jolie simply swings her arm while shooting a gun and it curves the bullet. Since then, many folks have tried to recreate this effect, which was obviously done with special effects, but no one has succeeded. The crew from Mythbusters tried several different methods of curving bullets. They engineered some pretty complicated mechanisms, but didn't succeed. In a different episode, they wanted to mimic a James Bond movie where he stopped a bullet with an electromagnetic watch. They actually used some neodymium magnets to try to slow down a bullet, but in the end, the myth was busted. The problem? Most bullets are made from non-ferrous metals like brass, lead, or copper, which aren't attracted to magnets. Even if a bullet was made from steel, the speed at which it passed by the magnet would be so fast, the magnet probably wouldn't have any effect. With an extremely powerful electromagnet, like from an MRI machine, it could possibly curve or slow down a brass bullet due to the eddy currents that are induced. But a magnet that strong might also rip the gun right out of your hand. Plus, who has an extra MRI machine sitting around? Here at KJ Magnetics, we wanted to try this ourselves, and we did what any good scientist would do. We stacked the conditions in our favor to get the results that we wanted. We used steel BBs rather than a brass bullet, and a low-powered air rifle rather than an actual firearm. Still, we wondered if using a single neodymium magnet would curve a steel bullet. Three, two, one. Bullseye! Nice. All right, well, it is, it is here. <laughs> That's the mark. All right. You want to do a second shot just to prove me what we're talking about? Sure. Three, two, one. Pretty consistent. Right next to it. Let's take a look at some high speed footage. As you can see, the control shots shoot pretty straight. Ready? Nikon's sure. going and everything? We're going. Three, two, one. Cool, they definitely dropped two inches. Yeah, I mean, that's... We need a close-up video. That's pretty... Let me see, I got a pointer. So this is shot one, shot two, and with the magnet way down here. Again, for reference, here's the control shot. And here's the shot with the magnet. Now, if we overlay the two videos, you can clearly see that there's a distance between the two bullets. Tracking the path of these bullets, we can clearly see that they're about an inch and a half apart. Now, if we extrapolate the data and put it on a graph, at about five feet away, the bullet dropped about one and a half inches. That means at 10 feet, we should see a drop of about three inches. That's a pretty serious drop. With the high-speed camera set up at a different angle, you can clearly see the two bullets separate as soon as they pass over the magnet. If we go frame by frame, it also appears that the bullet that passed over the magnet is actually a little bit slower in velocity than the regular bullet. In conclusion, technically, we got magnets that curve a bullet. If you like this video and want to see others like it, please consider subscribing to our channel. And also check us out on the web at www.kjmagnetics.com.